Uh, I'm so impressed with this with uh, Holland and his uh, ability to recount uh, statistics and numbers and and all that good stuff. So, what gave you the inspiration to to create this platform so that former you know giants can come on and 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 continue the tradition? How did you come up with that? You know, uh, honestly, Michael, I've always uh, been athletically inclined and um, sports interested. And uh, I'm originally from New Jersey, uh, Squeezebro, New Jersey, right across the river from Philadelphia. And uh, when I moved to Marion in 88, it was that uh, after Jay Edwards, it was the recommend of Butler era. And uh, I just, and then Marion had just uh, finished her state run with Richie Thompson and uh, Robert Carter and those guys. And I just became instantly entrapped in this whole Marion sports culture. So, uh, I've always been a historian of it. And as the years went on, I realized there was the, the great Ken Hill. And then there was, uh, if you remember at the high school, they would film the film the, our games. And then we'd go hang out at McDonald's or Burger King. And by the time we got home, it'd be on the TV, you know, and then they'd replay it Saturday morning. So uh, I felt uh, Greg Keaton does a great job now, uh, but I felt like there was a niche where I could, talk to some of the old athletes, get some of their old stories as far as bus rides and games and um, things Behind like that. The I love it, man. It's great for any it's, old it's, head that's played kind of football. They hold on to those up. moments. And it's really awesome that you are going back and capturing those moments. So that's that's super dope, man. I'm sorry I cut you off. What were you saying? Oh, you're fine, brother. I'd also like to thank uh, – the Marin Public Library, and that's where I go to get the, the bulk of my uh, sports information and my stats. Uh, they have uh, every newspaper, hotline, and chronicle from the 20s on to current day. So I used to go in and I'll, I'll pick a year, say uh, when you graduated in uh, 98. So I'll go back to the 97 football season on the hotline and just read all the stats and all the stuff of the games. And it's, it takes you back, you know. I, I've it seen sure does. In there. We I've um, seen myself in there a little bit. So uh, once I realized I got a couple of uh, good guys as far as like a, a Jody McCain's, I got Brian Walker, and I got uh, Tavares Rankin, and all three of those guys are doing big things in their own right. And I wanted to expand a little bit more, so I got uh, interviewed with Tony Sharon, who was a big-time running back uh, with you guys. And um, also I interviewed a Chip Ryan. I have to put the chip one on, and uh, also me and you uh, got together last week. So really picking up. Uh, I've actually I've sent out a few invites, and guys didn't want to talk about it, or guys are kind of hesitant on it. So uh, it's not all peaches and cream. Some guys don't want those stories out there. Some guys can't wait to tell them. So uh, as it grows, I think uh, it's really going to be big, Michael. Just keep it's doing it, man. It's great. Yeah. So I can tell you some great stories. So all those, but most of those cats you just mentioned, I played with. So like Tavares Rankin, I was a sophomore and he was a senior. He was my running back. Tony Sharon was, we we went through middle school together. I went from, from McCullough, fifth grade, all the way we graduated together. Mm -hmm. uh, Jody McCain, I never had to, I, I wasn't a basketball player, but I went to school while he was there. 